What's going on YouTube, Robocast Gaming here, and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be bringing you guys my picks for the top 4 locations to hide your loot in Unturned. Yes, I said 4. I can only think of 4, please forgive me. But I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, so in order to hide your loot at the first location in today's video, make sure you have a couple of metal gun racks. So to make these metal gun racks, all you need is two metal sheets and two metal bars, and then you make yourself a gun rack. Now make sure you have a couple of these, I would recommend maybe three or four, just to be safe, and just to make sure you have enough space to hide your loot. Now once you have all your gun racks, you're going to want to venture to the nearest house and set up your gun racks in there. Now a lot of you guys are probably thinking, that is a terrible idea Robocast, you're, you're, you're a loser, because I'm just going to get raided with these terrible tips. Well that's not true my friend. Uh, there's actually quite a few good locations inside these houses to hide your guns. Now the first one is actually inside one of these little wardrobes here. So if you were to place your gun racks inside, you could hide all your guns in there, and people won't be able to do anything about them unless they have explosives. Now I do have to say, out of all the locations, this is probably the most obvious, because I mean, I'm sure a couple people check these. But I do have to say, out of all of my friends, or oh, out of 10 of them, I only have 10 friends guys. So basically, I asked 10 of my friends, I said, do you guys open these whenever you're looting places? And out of those 10, 9 people said they don't check them, and 1 person said they check them. So that just goes to show that probably a lot of the people don't actually check them, uh, which means it could be a pretty good place to hide your guns. And as I said, even if they do find them, they're still going to have to blow them up, which, I mean, it's going to be kind of hard. Now for the second location inside the house, I would recommend hiding them under the bed. Now I do have to say, I don't know anybody who checks under the bed when they're looting. I mean if they do, they're probably on crack and they're probably like a schizophrenic and they think there's something under there trying to kill them. But for the most part, I don't think anybody checks underneath the beds. So for example, if I were to lean down there and place a couple gun racks, as you can see I did, there's a heartbreaker over there and a shotgun over there, and the chances are nobody's gonna find them unless they're just like, you know, oh, I'm gonna lay down here, hide from this guy. Oh look, there's a shotgun. I mean, for the most part, nobody's going to find those, so that's actually a really good location if you're trying to hide some guns. And the final spot that I could think of inside houses is inside the little cabinets. Now, I do have to say, these are probably checked more often than the others, because I know a lot of people who actually open these and look for loot, because, I mean, I do myself. But I do have to say, if you're going to put them in a cabinet, I would recommend doing it one like this, where you could have, like, a top cabinet. Because also, again, I don't really know many people who check the top cabinets. I don't even know if any loot even spawns up there. But I mean, if you hide them in a cabinet, most likely they're going to be found, but again, the chances are people aren't going to be able to blow them up right away, and then they're going to forget about them. So it's a pretty good location if you want to hide your loot in an obvious spot that's easy to get to, but also it's hard to get raided, I guess you could say. Location number two is a great place if you want to hide your loot, and you don't want to risk it being found. So basically, all you want to do is craft a locker and swim over to the ocean, swim down to the bottom, and place your locker somewhere on the ocean floor. Now I do have to say, the further out you are, probably the better chance you have of it not being found. Like for example, if you were to go all the way to the corner of the map, the chances are nobody's going to find it there. So just kind of swim out somewhere in the ocean and place a locker, and then it's pretty much hidden. It's pretty much good to go, nobody can find your stuff. You can put your flashlight, your rake, and your chainsaw inside, and nobody's ever going to find it. Now be careful, you can drown like I'm doing right now. Uh, but the chances are, nobody's going to find your locker if they're just swimming along the ocean floor. And even if they do find it, it's going to be really hard for them to raid it. Now one last thing I want to say about the underwater strat is the fact that they cannot raid it with high caliber weapons like they can above ground. For example, let's say they have some high caliber weapons and they see your locker way off in the shore, but they can't reach it. It's not like they're going to swim out there and shoot it because you cannot use high caliber weapons underwater. So basically, really, the only way to raid this is if you use some sort of explosive because the high caliber weapons won't work underwater. Strat number three is one that quite a few people know about, but the thing is, if you do this strat, the chances are your stuff still won't be found. So I'm sure you already know where I'm going with this, but basically what you want to do is get some sort of axe or chainsaw or use your fist or something, walk up to a tree and cut it down. Once your tree's down, just go ahead and place your locker inside of the tree, you can put your stuff inside the locker, and then it'll grow back and cover it right up and nobody will know it's there. So basically, as long as you remember where the tree is, you'll always have this hidden locker that nobody knows about. And the final location in today's video is one that quite a few of you guys probably know about because I did show it off in another video, but if you don't, I'll go ahead and cover it. And also, if you want to check out the other video, I'll link that in the description below. For this one, you're going to need three things. So the first thing that you're going to need is a metal door frame, the second thing you're going to need is a vault door, and then the third thing is obviously your storage locker. Now again, I did cover this in another video, so feel free to check that out. I went a little bit more in detail on that one, uh, but again, I'm going to be covering the basics in this video too. So what you want to do is go ahead and equip your metal door frame and place it right in the entrance of one of these crates. So try to line it up as perfectly as you can. It's not super important, but just try to line it up as good as possible. So let's say we'll place this thing, we'll place it right here. 
So now that you have this, you want to pull out your vault door, and obviously place the door inside the thing. I would recommend it facing like this, where the little turn knob is on the inside, where it doesn't stick out as much. And something that I actually learned to do now is to salvage the outside door frame, and now the door fits in there perfectly without it sticking out on the sides, and basically to a passerby, nobody would be able to tell that that's your, you know, little storage shed. So basically all you have to do is walk inside, open up your door, and you have this super secure little vault thing you can put down your chest and store your items safely. Now a lot of people are starting to know about this one because I did show off another video, like another video talking about this as I said three times. Uh, but it's it's a definitely a nice tip. I feel like it'll work for quite a while longer until basically everybody knows about it. But out of the stuff I've showed you today, uh, this is the one that I'm probably most worried about other people finding just because, you know, I have showed it off in another video. And that video got quite a few views. But guys, that's going to be it for this video, so I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you did enjoy any time, feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any other locations to hide your loot, please tell me in the comments below. See you guys next time, and peace.